snakes that have been found in the Little Woods area recently. The one in the bag is the one that bit a teenager earlier this week. Latrice Jones says her son is still in the hospital, but doing much better than he was on Tuesday night when he got there after she says a rattlesnake bit him. They caught the one that bit her son, but Jones and her neighbors say they've seen dozens on or near Curran Place in Little Woods over the years. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis spoke to Jones and has more. On this, we have coyotes, snakes, a little bit of everything. But after what happened to her 16 year old son, Javen, earlier this week, Joan says she is ready to move. She says as Javen and her nephew were walking by this area of high grass on Tuesday afternoon, her nephew noticed this snake on the ground. She says her nephew tried to warn Javen, but as he jumped back, the snake lunged. And it bit my baby, gave him. Automatically, like it went straight to his chest. Mm -hmm. He venom. fell. Yes, he fell down. Went. He made. They helped him walk him to my sister-in-law house. After they did that, he called the ambulance because uh -huh. I wasn't here. Experts here at Audubon Zoo say they are not sure what type of snake it was that bit Jones's son, but they say they're not surprised he was bit by a poisonous snake at all. In fact, they say poisonous snakes are very common in New Orleans East, especially since Hurricane Katrina. East New Orleans was. Filled with abandoned structures for so long after Katrina that the snakes actually re expanded. Rick Atkinson is the curator of the Louisiana Swamp Exhibit at Audubon Zoo. He says this time of year, various types of snakes are out hunting for food. He says it's okay to admire the diverse wildlife of the city, but. You don't want to approach wildlife too closely without knowing exactly what it is and what its potentials are. Jones says Javen is doing much better now, but while he recovers, she wants to take this time to remind others to take precautions before they head outdoors. I don't want nobody child to get bitten because they are poisonous snakes for real out here. Reporting on your side in New Orleans East, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News. And here are some of the snakes that are in the New Orleans area. According to the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, the banded water snake, the brown snake, the cotton mouth, and the diamond backed water snake, just a few. You can call Audubon Zoo if you see a snake in your area or in your backyard. Go to our website, WDSU.com, for more information.